Algebra 2 Honors, Lesson 6.3, Solving Quadratic Equations by Factoring. So we've factored before. Now we add something called the zero product property. The zero product property means that if I have two things and they multiply to equal zero, then either this side equals zero or this side equals zero. So to solve it, just break it into two pieces and say, what would it take to make this side equal zero? What would it take to make this side equal zero? Okay, our answers are negative two and four. If I plug negative two in, I get zero times negative six, zero. If I plug in four, I get six times zero, zero. So that's the zero product property. A lot of people get confused on this. They're used to factoring, solving, not really sure what they're doing. Well, as we pointed out in the last two lessons, we're factoring to find the roots. And when x equals 0, that's how we know we have roots. So let's do some problems. By the way, how do we check these? Plug them back in. And you better get 0. Let's start this one. Uh, a lot of people get lost on this one. There's no C value here. So we just do what I call simple factoring. We take out the GCF, break it into 2. x equals 0 is pretty much done. x equals 6. Take a second, make sure they both work. 0 minus 0 works. 36 minus 36 works. That's it. Since we're talking about graphing in previous lessons, this would be similar to saying it hits at 6 and 0. I bet the line of symmetry is right here at 3. And you can check that and you'll find out that in indeed it is. So let's just crank out some problems here. x minus 10, x plus 7. Check them, they both work. Notice x minus 10 equals 0, x equals 10. A lot of people get pretty good at just looking at the factored form and writing the answers down because it's just the opposite sign. This one is one root repeated twice, so it's just x equals 8. It works. This is the difference of two squares. And again, now we can start getting a little bit faster at just writing down answers. And so on and so on. Now the hard factoring. If you need to use your calculator or graph it and approximate, that's fine. 2 times negative 15 equals negative 30. To me, I look at that and I say 10 plus negative 3 equals 7, and 10 times negative 3 is there. 2x squared plus 10x minus 3x minus 15 equals 0. 2x negative 3, I get 2x times x plus 5 minus 3 times x plus 5. 2x minus 3, x plus 5 equals 0. Some people have gotten very fast at this. I will work it out once. After that, I'll just say x equals 3 halves. And you'll see what I mean by that in a moment. 2x equals 3, x equals 3 halves. x equals negative 5. Plug them back in. You'll find they both work. So now, my mission as a math teacher is to mess with you, make your life challenging. So I've given you ones like this. A lot of people do this. Can't do that. Can't divide 
by a variable. I'll leave it to you to figure out why not. So what you're supposed to do is add the 2x to both sides, factor out your GCF, and get your two solutions. Where did I get negative one half? I solved this very quickly in my head. Plug it back in, you'll see it works. You get one there, and over here you get one. Again, the meanest thing I can do to make your life miserable. Oh, by the way, this is why you can't divide by a variable. You never know when it's going to be zero. Three times negative 14 is negative 42. I'm looking at negative 7 plus 6. 3x squared minus 7x plus 6x minus 14. x leaving me 3x minus 7 plus 2 leaving me 3x minus 7. x plus 2. 3x minus 7 x equals negative 2 7 thirds. Check and make sure they work. So that's it for factoring. I mean we've done it before. This is a really great chance to review for a final exam or uh, just practice your factoring. Give you a good place to work on it. What about going backwards? Um, if the solutions are this we know that it's the flip Now we can just foil it out, but we got a fraction in there. If you recall, that's equivalent. That'll give me a solution of one half. And I have to do that. Some people say, no, 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 I'm cool with fractions. Yeah, but read the full question. You're going backwards, and I want integer coefficients. So foil it out 2x squared plus 10x minus x minus 5. 2x squared plus 9x minus 5 equals 0. Check it. Plug in 1 half. Make sure it works. It works. That's it. Happy mathing.